in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Spirit of God, instill in us your gifts and fruits so that as we live in this world, we may live so befittingly that we may participate in the glory of heaven with all the angels and saints of God. We make this prayer in the holy name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, we are in the 31st Sunday of the ordinary time, the first day of this month. Let us thank God for the gift of life and love He has bestowed on us with the providential care with very many of our brothers and sisters who have lost their lives, but the Lord in His providence and mercy has sustained our lives and kept us alive so that we may live for the glory of His name. Today the church keeps the solemnity of all the saints. We know that every Baptist individual Christian is called to live a saintly life, to participate in the ultimate goal of our life in the glory of God. Very few lives of saints the church has given us the example as we live in this world. But there are so many millions of people and souls who have lived a life accepted in the sight of God, who participate in the glory of God. Therefore, remembering all of them in one shot, we are called to live a life befitting and, and uh, worthy of the dignity and divinity of being the sons and daughters of God. We see in today's first reading that those who are clothed in white garment, millions and multitude of all language, people, culture, they were praising God, saying, Holy, Holy, Lord God of hosts. And when John asked, Who are these? The angel lives. These are those who have washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb and made them pure garment. That means in this world, with the when they underwent suffering and turmoil, they followed the Lamb in this, wherever the Lamb went, remaining faithful, committed and dedicated to God. That is the message that is given to John. We read in today's first reading also that each one of us who are baptized are called to participate in the divinity of the children of God. And how can we participate in the God's kingdom? In today's gospel, our Lord in beatitude calls, gives us a life, being attitude of life, the attitude that can lead us to live a life acceptable in the sight of God. Being poor of heart, depending solely on the power of God, being humble of spirit by acknowledging the suffering that come across when we fight for justice and legitimate rights of the individual, by the pure of heart, by working for peace. And when we, when we acknowledge suffering because we are living in a life sight, acceptable in the sight of God. These are the ways of be attitude that can bring us blessings and happiness and the glory of the world to come. Therefore, let us ask Jesus to empower our choices and living so that in our thought, words and deeds, we may live a life that participates in the glory of God as the sons and daughters of God. Toward this grace, let us pray. My life is in you, Lord. My strength is in you, Lord. My hope is in you, Lord. In you, it's in you. My life is in you, Lord. My strength is in you, Lord. My hope is in you, Lord. In you, it's in you. I will praise you with all of my life. I will praise you with all of my strength. With all of my life, with all of my strength, all of my hope is in you. My life is in you, Lord. My strength is in you, Lord. My hope is in you, Lord. In you, it's in you. In you, it's in you. It's in you. Jesus, we present thank you for the lives of courageous men and women and children who have lived a life as a modern and acceptable in the sight of God. We pray that we too, as we live our Christian living, that we may live in the awareness of the kingdom of God in which we are called to participate, so that in our words, thought and deeds, we may live a life that is pleasing and acceptable in your sight. We make this prayer in your holy name, dear Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.